Holiday season, but it's anything but a holiday for Bill Spencer and the hard-working members of the Call for Action team. That is right. Bill and the CFA team have already answered thousands of calls for help this year. And right now, Bill has an update on the work, the results, and the hard numbers behind all of that effort. Bill? Can I do one too? Inside the playroom at her Inside Davisburg home, yeah. Kristen Gauthier plays a game called Dinosaurs <laughs> with her three-year-old son, Logan. <laughs> Three is a very important number in Kristen's life because it was three long years that she and her husband Ryan struggled to hunt down the wedding photographer that took more than 2,400 bucks of their money and failed to give them any of their wedding photos. I've got to tell you, over the years, I've almost never been successful recovering wedding photos after this much time has passed. I mean, two years. But somehow, our hardworking Call for Action volunteers tracked down this particular wedding photographer within 24 hours and bam. Suddenly, Kristen got a call from the wedding photographer herself telling her the complete wedding album was finished and it would be mailed to her within 24 hours. Every time we look at a wedding photo, I will think of you and definitely recommend you to all my friends and family. For 23 years, the Motor City Blightbusters, along with their founder, John George, have worked to transform blighted areas of Detroit. But several months ago, it was the Blightbusters who needed the help. The group had lost the last of its once healthy fleet of pickup trucks. John, you need, your, you need, you need yourself a pickup truck. You're going to pick out whatever you want. Does that sound good? Sounds great. Right away, we contacted our friends at Volunteers of America, the car donation program, and with that, VOA agreed to give the Blightbusters this powerful GMC pickup truck. John, you are now the owner of a GMC 1500, man. I well, hope thanks. you love it. And when Tom Hurst of Waterford suddenly ran out of money, right in the middle of building his ailing wife, Linda, a wheelchair ramp for their home so that Linda could get out. Tom called the call for action team for help. Without this wheelchair ramp, what will happen to you? <laughs> I'll just sit here. Won't be able to go to the doctors. Won't be able to get outside with my grandsons. Right away, we went to work raising money, and less than a week later, we handed Tom this check for $800. I can tell you for a fact you will because I have a check for you here for $800. All of which means as of tonight, November 30th, 2011, the Call for Action team this year has taken a total of 5,869 of your calls for help and recovered a total of $680,107 for our Call for Action clients. And I can tell you, we're not done yet, folks. Of course, over the next month, we're going to be working extra hard to close out this year. You know, typically, we help about 7,000 people, and that's every year. We do keep very good track of the numbers of people that we help. Again, closing in on $700,000. I hope to up that big time in the next 30 you days. You do amazing, incredible. heartwarming work. You really do in the Call for Action team. And I all the volunteers up there, they really right. do such a volunteers wonderful Volunteers work so hard. I just they can't do. tell you. I mean, uh, they just don't stop working. If you've got a problem, call the call for action team, by the way, at 248-827-3362, and we will try to help you out. All right, Bill. Thank, Thank you. you.